This is the orientation of the ICU code bag. Um, this is just to make sure that we all stock everything pretty similar fashion and to kind of show you like why um, we designed the bag this way. So first of all, there is an inventory list that sits right there. This just kind of breaks down where everything is and kind of gives you a little like heading of why things are placed here. So jumping right in, on the top left hand corner, we have the um, manual BP cuff, disposable stethoscope, ETCO2 tubing, and then there's a hemostat and a pair of scissors that are in here too. Over in this side, there's um, some gloves and mask. Uh, gloves are every size, just to make sure when you use them to replace them, if they're empty. Over on this side, we have the eye stat, the pressure bag, so a lot of the IV tubing. We have the code tubing, usually have at least two of these. Some regular tubing, just in case we need to put meds on a pump. Um, the TPN slash amio tubing, just in case for amio. Uh, we also have uh, art lines, defibrillator pads, and art line tubing that's down here. Okay. IVs are up here. We put the saline syringes starting up here. We put the extensions um, for the straight angio caps if you need them or if you want to use them. We also have the um, wing, the butterfly IVs over here too. Um, usually I put two of each type and we also have the IV start kits in here uh, with the mm -hmm. vena cards if you need them or want them and also tourniquets. We have some 2 by 2s here because we use those the most and then some alcohol pads if you need them. Over here we have some 12cc syringes. Um, we could put other ones in there but most of the time we use 12ccs because honestly we're usually just drawing blood. Um, we also have lab tubes in here. We also have the, um, the wing transfer devices and also the smaller transfer device if you want to go straight from the IV, which um, I usually like to do. We also have the butterfly lab set. But we only I only put like one or two of these in there because it's very rare for us to try to draw labs and not start an IV in any code we go to. I also have the ABG cartridges in here and the uh, ABG needles. So try to keep two of each, two G8s, two G4s. Um, doctors will usually like to use the G8 first. Sharps container, it's useful. Four by fours up here, and silk tape, because um, for intubation, you know, you always want to have silk tape for intubation. Uh, we also have some of the more miscellaneous things in here. Lancets for blood sugar checks. The, um, the plastic needles, just in case you need to draw something up. And IM needles um, for the times where you can't get an IV and let's just say you're having a seizure. Also have the uh, filter extension. Um, granted, the TPN or amio tubing comes with the filter, but in case you run out. Also, the the um, the drip regulator in case you don't have a pump. And I put a three-way stopcock just in case for adenosine if you need to use it. Um, extra EKG pads and um, SPO2 are on here. And the IV fluids are in here. So kind of just a brief overview again. So on this side, we have a lot of the tubing with the pressure bags and the eye stat, just because that's the most convenient where it puts. IV stuff, you know, you grab your, your flush, your IVs, IV start kit, or whatever you want to use. If, I find that the esters just make the IV start kit. Then if you need labs, you get your lab tubing. If you need ABGs, it's just straight here. Um, and miss more miscellaneous things that we don't use every code. Um, the reason I just want to do this just to make things more uniform, make it easy for every person that goes to the code so they know where it is, um, because um, I have been trying to just make it easy for everyone so we're the most efficient team as possible. Thank you for watching my video.